new feature for Movie Rise uh, version 4. Um, it's tested on 4.7 upwards. Um, it's a new full page sidebar. Um, and if we have a look at it, what it looks like um, on uh, in your browser. Okay, so uh, we go to look at it as a menu. Okay, so when you click the, you now get the menu items there. And as you can see, it scrolls with the page. So it stays in, in view. And you can close it. And then the icon, uh, the uh, menu item comes back. Um, and as you can see, there's no visible sign on the page. If we go to it as a message, you can also configure it as a message instead of a menu. So you could have just a menu, a help menu um, for your page instead. And if we look at the menu one again, you'll see that the links can be set as well. Um, so let's go back to Move Your Eyes and just see how we install it. Um, now you'll notice that uh, when you have installed it you will get this little placeholder at the bottom which won't appear on the live site um, and the block must be installed after everything on the page. So after the footer, after all content. So let's create a new page and we'll add it so create a new page. Let's put a uh, let's put something in there. And something in there. Okay. So let's just make that bigger and make it full screen. There we go. So now we've got our page. Uh, so we'll add the footer. footer as you can see we now got your footer everything in place so now we will add the extension when we can find it there it is full page sidebar so we put that right at the very bottom of the page after the footer and as you can see as I say we get some text there but that won't display when you uh, view online. Now there is one minor bug and that is if you edit the cog while the bar is open the, the menu item will disappear but simple fix just switch to another page and then switch back. So let's go to the cog and as you see in the cog we can change the background colour of the uh, panel we can change the colour of the X in the top corner and we can change the width of the panel and we can also change the font size in the panel. Okay, so now if we look at the panel it should have reflected our changes. There we go, the yellow and the cross That's because we've got that down there the, the cross has changed colour as well and the width of the page so let's go back and we'll just change it again oh, wrong button go down the bottom cog so let's change it back to a very dark grey and we'll change the X to a nice sparkly red and the panel width will take back to 250 and the font size will take right down to 10. There we go. So the 
that's the sidebar there. Um, and then if we if we then go into the sidebar, you can see you can change the colours of the items here and add the hyperlinks to to it as normal. You can also add some more text at the bottom if you wish, but if we change the colour of that, as you can see, oops, missed that one. It's the usual movie rise, you have to do it twice to get it to take. This one wants three times. Okay, and so if we go back down here, let's change the color to white there. We change the font size to 26 or 27, and we'll try that and you'll see we now get it at a much bigger size. So to do your um, help panel what you would do is you would choose the panel background color of say white and the X color will close as black. We'll make the panel width a little bit wider this time and the font size a little bit smaller. Okay, then go in here and then we could put our text in here. So that's how it works. As I say, there's a sample menu and there's sample help. As I said before, if the if the panel is open when you go to the cog you may find that sometimes the, co the item will disappear. This only happens in the actual movie eyes editor. It doesn't happen in the live site, obviously. So a simple quick fix is just go to another page, then go back again, and it comes back. Okay, so that's it. I'll be coming soon, so uh, watch for this. Uh, on my site. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.